Hello everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Ghost Wolf Alpha, back again with another stream tonight. How are you all doing tonight, chat? I hope you're all doing well. If not, well, I hope this stream helps cheers you up a little bit. Today is Tuesday, August 13th of 2024. And tonight's game I've been has the last I've been choosing as of late is Star Trek Online. That's because I haven't decided to pick out any other games yet, to be honest. But hey, we still got ourselves some story to go through. So, how are y'all doing tonight, chat? I hope you're all doing well. I'm right now. Right, I'm, this is right now the last stream till the till the 23rd. In case you're wondering why, is because I'm calling the next. There's a the next there's a the 16th, 19th, and 20th days off. I'm taking a little bit of a vacation from streaming, mainly because I just wanted to have some time off and also prepare for the 27th. Because of the sp oh shit, what the? F Hold on, everyone. We're having ourselves some frame rate issues. Okay, well, you're fine. Is it what I think it is? Give me one second, everyone. Okay, I... It's because... Okay, that's weird. Okay, check. Bear with me for a tiny minute because I'm trying to solve this issue. Okay, close those out. Kind of need you op running. Let's try Space Desk again for the second monitor. Are you going to be complaining about it now? No? Yes, maybe? Okay. There we go. I also need to take care of that there. And I'll get the mute and I'll swap over to Star Trek Online where we last left off is we we're about to investigate the Hobus system because we're about to start the Icodian War here. So let's get started, shall we? Damn it, Moon Moon. Got the game running. What? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea why that dipped right there. But I think we're past that now. Seems everything's all stable. And for the playlist tonight, we're going with nine. Actually, no, not nineties. Two thousands rock anthems. Okay, yeah, Hobus. And here we go. Oh, I don't know if you saw what I posted a few minutes before, you see. About 10 minutes before streaming, I sneezed so loud that someone outside heard it and said, bless, and shouted out, bless you. Oh boy, that was just unexpected, and it was a bit funny too.
go on easy alliance. This is Federation Shuttle Tereshkova. I am under attack in the Hoba system, requesting emergency assistance. This is Oblitz 2. We've received your distress call. I'm under attack by Romulan vessels. I could use a little help here. I'm a decent pilot, but things are getting a little rough. Acknowledge, Tereshkova. We're on our way. This freighter's packing some serious weapons. I don't think they're hauling cargo. This is the Romulan Imperial Star Navy. You are a restricted area. Please, immediately. These aren't Tasha ships. They're Imperial loyalists. Let's see what type of... Sh okay, that's just a class 8, I think? Yeah. Thanks for the assistance. I was checking out some strange readings and discovered this errant freighter. I hailed them and they opened fire. It's a good thing you picked up my distress signal. Any idea why they attacked you? I don't know yet. Based on these ships' identification codes, these aren't Tal Shiar vessels. Just elements of the old Romulan Star Navy. They're no friends of the intelligence agencies, but also not allies of the Republic. Last <coughs> true sons of the Empire, that sort of thing. Not to impose, but my shuttle's taken a beating. Do you mind if I bring it aboard? Yeah, I got some questions for first. Why aren't you on Voyager, Commander? Our last mission wasn't easy. We made it through in one piece, but afterwards, it seemed like a good time to use my personal leave. I'll rejoin Voyager in a few weeks. Understandable, the war with the Vadrar has been difficult for all of us. Anyway, let's scan this freighter. Okay, scanning their primary engine assembly is damaged, reading multiple Romulan life sightings. Sir, we're being hailed. On screen. This is Lieutenant Gaia Salon. This vessel has been disabled. Your interference is disruptive, but survivable. Oh shit, something's wrong with him. Lieutenant Salon, what are you doing on that freighter? This unit is executing its priority directives. All other directives have been suspended. Why did you attack us? This unit was defending this vessel against outside attack. Defense of Associates is required by priority override. Gaius, why are you referring to yourself as this unit? Okay, scans of the freighter show is remarkably remarkably well equipped, but there's no contraband or port technology outside of Lieutenant Ceylon's implants. There's nothing that explains his change of behavior. What if, Captain, what if someone's controlling Gaia through his Borg implants? We know it's possible, and he's certainly not acting normal. It's almost like he's part of the Collective again. I can't answer our questions because he isn't there. We need to find out who did this. There's a facility on what remains of the Hobus Moon, sir. I'm detecting power to its environmental systems. Whoever did this could still be down there. Lock a tractor beam on that freighter and have a way team meet me in the transporter room. Uh. Also, also, uh, very soon I'm going to be, usually during the time off, I'm going to be going on a road trip. It's the annual road trip that my dad and I like to go on. And we're going to this one nature preserve place, slash nature walk place, whatever you want to call it. All I know is it's going to be fun. Okay, this facility is badly damaged, your atmospheric pressure is holding steady, but power is fluctuating and many of the systems are barely, barely functional. Scans are reading several Romulan life signs throughout the facility. Whoever they are, they're deeper in the complex. I think they're trying to restore full power. Okay, let's see if we can get information from these computer systems. Uh, 
Okay, computer core use is at 12%. Damage, Damcon reports at EPS conduits. To, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Power functional code lock at hardware, hardware fault with a gate status. That means there's something going on there. We should check this out. More Romulan naval officers. Okay. Got the wrong weapon equipped. I got the sniper. I need the full auto ones that's... There we go, thank you. Okay, geothermal tabs function at 58%, main archive lock, gate status non-operational. Okay, they have enough power, but it looks like they're still locked out of the computer memory. That doesn't help much. They must be trying to gain access to the gateway data. Okay, this lab was attacked, not destroyed. Maybe we can find some clues. Let's scan these bodies. Nothing we could do for ne them now, sir. I know this ver various factions skirmished over this facility since Romulus was lost. In hopes of finding out what caused the supernova. Looks like these were Re Republic Allied Remans who happened to be in the wrong place. Their injuries are consistent with Romulan military disruptors, which fits, all fits what we've already seen of, Romulan naval of the Romulan naval presence here. Yeah, these runes are recent. These Remans must have been part, part of Obasek's forces. They've kept this facility secure since it was taken from Taurus. Just want to see... Huh. Surprised that the statue survived through... <laughs> throughout all of this. There's a door to the left. Okay, gotta clear these out. Clear, clear, clear these forces out. And the pure, these imperialists were looking for something in the computers. Check out, check them out. Okay, file corrupted. SHS handle library, EPS to gate process, sublate processes. Okay, that's going to take a bit. We need to get to that lab. These Ramos are trying to steal and restart that Iconian gateway. This space is definitely a war zone, and holy cow! Quick, through the side door and down to the gate! That's getting suspicious now, even more so. Zila's here! Time to take you prisoner yet again. One second, turn on the light. I surrender. That's it? I thought you would put up a fight! Well, no. 
I do still have crucial information about your poor friend, Lieutenant Ceylon, and how to fix his addled Borg brain. About the gateways and how to use them. About the Iconians. Now tell me, aren't those things more important than the fleeting pleasure no, you're you get just, from shooting No, you're just me? starting. <laughs> okay. Anyway, how you doing, Niels? I hope you're doing well. Okay, Sayla, I'm not interested in any more of your lies. But you are interested in what I can tell you. This gateway is damaged beyond repair, but I learned a thing or two when I was a guest of the Iconians. I know how to operate their gateways, and I've memorized several sets of coordinates. I know about places you haven't seen yet. In fact, the only reason I was here was to open a gate to a specific Iconian base. Yeah, fling one jail to go back to another, I see. Not exactly. Do you really think there are only two Dyson Spheres? <laughs> there are more, and I know the, oh, I'm doing good, Yoza. the one the Iconians are still using. Wouldn't you like to see that? Yeah, as I also mentioned, um, I'm trying to remember the dates again. Oh, for God, <laughs> I'm using my second computer as a second monitor. One second. Yeah, as I said, the um, I'm having the days off on the 16th and 19th and 20th. A little bit of a vacation, and also the, we're going to be doing something special on the 27th. Because that's basically the one year anniversary when I started to really, really take, um, just doing basically daily streaming stuff. Basically taking the streaming seriously. Anyway, why exactly should, anyway, back to the game. Sila, why should I believe any of this? You haven't shown us anything credible. Sir, we're getting a message from command. I've received through. some distressing news, and I need to update your mission orders. Your communications officer tells me you're not aboard your ship. What's your status? I'm a little busy at the moment, sir. No, please, go ahead. I okay. can wait. Okay, go ahead, Admiral. We've received word that Sela has escaped from Republic custody, and that she was last seen in the Devron sector. Be aware that she was apparently aided in her escape by Lieutenant Gaius Salon, a Republic intelligence officer. Uh, she's here, sir. We found her with a group of Romulan Imperial loyalists. She surrendered. Republic intelligence thinks she has some kind of information about the Iconians that she hasn't shared yet. This is a little odd, but... Let's give her a little leash. Stay close and find out what you can. See if you can determine her plans. Be prepared to bring her in if she shows any signs of endangering anyone. Understood. I'll see what we can discover. Well, well, well. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer, isn't that the same? I'll make you a deal. You want Gaius back? And you want to learn what I know? I'm willing to give you both. But first, we'll need to discuss the deal aboard my ship. Don't worry. I'm sure your crew will keep a transporter lock and whisk you away at the first sign of danger. Enjoy having the upper hand for as long as it lasts. <sighs> You're no threat to me. We'll do this on your ship. I suppose we don't have much choice. Whenever you're ready, we can beam up to see what ship. But I'll go with you and watch your six. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'll beep to your ship in a second, but <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing at what you just said, Yosa. Ooh, last time I brought that equipment, I was reprimanded. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, let's beam to seal a ship. <laughs> Okay, oh, turn you off. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know you're not inclined to believe me, 
But I am telling the truth. I do have coordinates to a sphere the Iconians are still using. The Iconians have many servants. Some, like the Alachi, you have already seen. I watched how they opened the gateways and memorized the coordinates. The Iconians are moving their soldiers and ships into position. One day, soon, they'll be right on our doorstep. Okay, and what do you want me to do? This is our one chance to find out what the Iconians are doing and when they're going to attack. And they won't wait for our ships to be in position or give us time to muster a defense. One day, one day very soon, the Iconians will simply appear at our homeworlds. And we will have to fight to survive. Okay. Got a little... Got to deal with something here and now. What did you do to Lieutenant Ceylon? Poor Gaius. All that Borg hardware in his head made it easy to give him some guidance. I've had quite a bit of time to learn about Borg technology. All you need to know is which switches to flip. It's been very helpful having someone on the inside. I would have never escaped without him. But as a gesture of goodwill, I'll give him back now. There probably won't be any permanent damage. How did you manage to reprogram him so thoroughly? His implants aren't even that invasive. The Tal Shiar has studied mind control for decades, and I had full access to their techniques. Some of it is quite ingenious. Do you know that the proper sequence of mental conditioning and image projection can program someone to kill their best friend? I've seen it work. Once you know how to get into someone's head, you're there forever. Oh, in case you're wondering what that crinkling sound was, that was me opening up a bag of s opening my bag of sanded lemon drops. Well, oh, I'm also happy since I got since I got lemon drops today. Anyway, do you actually think you could fight the Iconians? With the coordinates I've memorized, I can gain access to an Iconian staging sphere. Tapping into the Iconian data networks is risky, but the potential benefits are significant. It will be difficult. Iconian operating systems are designed to overwrite and destroy other computers. However, I know enough about their devices to gain some useful information before that happens. Specifically, we need to determine what forces the Iconians will use against us. We must prepare for what's coming. Okay, let's get your ship moving then. My engineers report that they're having trouble keeping engine power stable. It appears you did quite a bit of damage to my ship. Unrelated systems keep failing in no discernible pattern. Perhaps you can take some of your people down to the engine room and have a look? Keep in mind that the sooner we get underway, the sooner this is all over. Oh, this is not exactly endearing you to me, but I suppose I have little choice. First, deal with you. This unit is in diagnostic mode. Lieutenant Salon, can you understand me? What happened? Gaius, do you understand me? Do you know what do you understand what you're doing? This unit is responding to its neural overrides. Please help me. I'll get you out of this, guys. Obelisk two to one. Where's he? Obelisk two. One to beam directly to sick sick bay. There we go. Yeah, I know. Okay. Hold on a second. I hear Dad muttering. No, he wasn't muttering, he was talking to me. <laughs> yeah, Dad said some stuff, let's see what he sent.
Okay, okay, he is... Yep. This definitely looks good. It's barbecue. Just a whole bunch of barbecue. <laughs> uh, I can't wait till wait till Thursday. <laughs> again, again, Dad knows my weakness. It's barbecue, and it's also his weakness too. But hey. I forgot to turn off the chat here. Anyway, we first off, we need to reinitialize the main deflector. Okay, we'll send to Met. Okay, we need to get the main stage flux chiller repaired. Well, I'm gonna send you, Scarvin, since you're an engineer. And we also need to get shield back up, and I'll let lead, let the hologram Lita do it. There we go. What are you doing to my ship down there? Don't make things worse. Okay. So it looks like whoever set that explosive off is on the move. Scans are picking up an additional de additional devices placed in the engine room. Looks like there are anti-tamper devices designed to keep anyone from getting close enough to disable them. You need to use your tricord to desync de the mine and move a bit closer until you can get in reach of deactivated. Get too close and it will fire off. Okay, so I need to scramble the sensors and get close to deactivate. Got it. And just so you know, Gaius is at, Gaius is just being controlled by those Romulan implants that they know how to how to work with. Oh, it was up there. Scramble. And disarm. Well, there's one. Next one over there. Sensors. Disarm. I shouldn't need to remind you that we're on a timetable, so I won't. Yes, Sela, I'm trying to fix it. Try to make sure your ship is not littered with bombs. <laughs> there we go. Okay, get to the saboteur. Okay, good. Surrendered. I recognize you. You have to help me. I'm a Republic intelligence operative on deep cover. I infiltrated this crew of Romulan naval officers because they were still loyal to Sela. 
We can recapture her if we can keep this ship disabled. How did you happen to get aboard the ship? This is too much of a coincidence. Republic intelligence has agents seeded through many of the groups in the Old Guard, and even a few infiltrating the Tal Shiar. It was happenstance that I was embedded in the group that helped Sila escape prison. What I need now is to keep this ship stalled long enough for the Republic to arrive. Then we can take Sila back to prison where she belongs. Okay, actually, I should pick the other option, I believe. I recognize you. Blah, blah, blah. You have to help me. I can't do I'm this right now. There's a deeper plan at work. I need to cover. uncover what's really going on. This crew. Sila is using you. She'll never tell you anything of substance. If she was the Iconian's prisoner, she couldn't have seen anything important. If she's still working with them, then she's leading you into a trap. Your only chance is to capture her now and help us reveal anyone in the Republic who helped her escape. I have to let this play out. Sila won't tell us anything, but if she thinks I'm on her side, she'll show me everything. And you're not... Sorry about this. I understand you've captured a saboteur. I won't tolerate a threat to the safety of this mission and my crew. I intend to have him executed immediately. I'm taking it to my custody. This is not negotiable. Very well. However, this still doesn't solve our problem. We need to find a working Iconian gate. Oh, well, I think I know where to find one. Okay. Let's go. To, okay, Oblitz 2, follow along with. Follow along, Sealus Freighter. Gage. The Nopata system? Interesting. Akiv had a baser who's conducting research for the Iconians. My ship has been modified to mask its energy signature, so we should be able to get there without detection. The Tal Shiar may be a problem, though. Can't you order the Tal Shiar to let us pass? The Tal Shiar serves the Iconians now. Certain elements of the Imperial Navy are still loyal, but the Tal Shiar would be more inclined to shoot me than listen to me. Fine, I'm going to go back to my ship. We'll see what we find at Dopata. Apples 2, beam us up. Bringing a large amount of space debris and at least one Romulan ship in orbit. I can't determine if it's Romulan Navy or Tal Shiar, but it's definitely not a Republic vessel. Hey, Lucila, does she have any information about this? Those are Tal Shiar ships. The Star Navy doesn't have the interest or the means to police far-flung systems like this one. The Tal Shiar and I don't exactly see eye to eye these days, so feel free to do what you will. Well, last time I was here, Hakiv had a secret facility on the planet. Talshare must be using his old base. Enemy vessel. This system is under Talshiar control. Stand down and prepare to be boarded. Unlikely. Shields up. Yeah, they've really let themselves go. We are under attack and requesting assistance. Responding to your request for assistance. Well, that was easy. Must be using outdated ships. <laughs>
Sensors were reading a structure on the surface, sir, with a small number of ramblings present. Also picking up some kind of dampening field. We could transport you to the outside of one of the buildings, but the field would prevent us tr prevent transport to some parts of the facility. He was down. That's also why I believe they're using, they're allying with the Iconians, get some better stuff from them, and also experimenting with Borg stuff. Meanwhile, the Romulan Republic's been basically making leaps and strides. I mean, I'll show you one of their sh one of the ships in the sea store. After everything loads, of course. Hakiv's private research facility. Soon all this will be lost to the sand. What a monument of folly. I'll talk to you in a second, Sila. But yeah. L okay, come on, load up their um, sea store. Are you going to load up? Or are you going to cause issues? Uh, it's going to cause issues. Oh well. Anyway. I never thought I'd be coming back here after I escaped from Hakeem's arena. Okay, seems the door seems to be getting power, but it's uh, but it's locked. I'll talk to Sila. The Tal Shiar commonly use a diverter to intercept standard access codes on electronic locks. Give me just a moment. There, you really should learn some of these things. Charming. Someone else has been through here recently. Just gonna go. Actually, no. I'm gonna take them out while we can. Oh, yeah, I kind of noticed that. Why am I not surprised the mess hall is the one place here that isn't a total wreck? Well, that's because you need to eat. Uh oh. There's also more here. Check the mess. At least on they first. were smart enough to take the weapons out of the armory. Okay, read these logs. Okay, personal log. We've managed to adjust our scanners and locate another passageway behind one of the walls in the office. But nobody could figure out how to get it open. It's probably locked down via the computer systems. At this point, I think it's going to be a matter of cracking the codes, but Akiv was so secretive and paranoid, he used a fractal-based encryption. Not even the board could break this. Th this thing. We have the computer working on it, but it's going to take months. And that's if we get lucky. Commander says there, that forces are needed elsewhere, so she's only going to leave a skeleton crew behind here. She says that if we can't get anything useful, there's no sense leaving troops on a deserted planet. I just hope she decides to pull all, pull all, all of us out sooner rather than later. Ah, that's something in my eye. One second. There. That's better. Let's see if there's something on this console here. First of all, though we've managed to restore partial power to the exterior f uh, facility, the lab itself remains on its own power systems with a distortion field around it. 
This whole mission has been an exercise of futility. I told the commander it would be, but she doesn't want to hear anything negative. She's pulled out most of the engineers, just left our two squads behind in case we stumble across something new. I hate this plan. There's nothing to do but shoot Salep cats. Maintain the power systems and try to keep... Hold on. Sorry about that, I heard some banging and... Okay. As I was saying, um, shoot Sailor Cats, maintain the power system, and try to keep the sand out of the door tracks. And to Hakeev's office. Hakeev Sanctum. I'm guessing that side door isn't just for show. Yeah. There must be a way through this blank wall. Maybe there's a release trigger in the office. Check his desk. Okay, permission denied. Access card glitches about it. About Computer, it. recognize identity Sila. Code Empress 1. Unlock lab access. Okay, access granted. Welcome your Imperial Majesty. Always have a back door. I'll try to remember that. Well, what do you expect from Sela? Another secret door. Hakiv was always so melodramatic. As I was saying, let's get this gateway working again. As I was saying, <laughs> she uh, this version of Sela is full of herself. The reason why I say this version, well, it's a bit a little bit of spoilers ahead. For those who haven't played it, by the way. Uh, before we do... Can we? Ah, the Coliseum. I fought for my life here while Hakeev took notes. I remember breaking through those gates. The Talshar must have repaired them. Okay, let's activate the gate. You're getting a little too close to the truth. It's time to eliminate you both. Oh, I think Neuroparasite. You should be more careful about the loyalty of your subordinates. Stop her! Don't let her escape! Yep, neural parasite. Kill it. This is still old campaign stuff, by the way. Reason why it's still old campaign stuff? Well, this came out. I'm trying to remember what year it came out in. Uh, one second. I'm going to quickly look it up. Um. Okay, this came out in two in 2015. The, um, for the whole for the whole arc, which is basically yeah, basically 2015 here. Right now we're plowing through. Oh, hold on. Somehow I could t on my other screen I could 
tilt the thing. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, we've we're getting through to the whole getting through to the whole thing here. We're in 2015, and then we'll be heading towards the more recent stuff. Also, I need to get back to the Twitch chat. There we go. Okay, that neuroparasite explains why Vanzel turned on us so suddenly. There's no telling how she got affected. It must have happened while she was with Voyager in the Delta Quadrant. Well, the parasite's gone, but we need to get her to sickbay. Yes, yeah, sorry, we'll take care of it. I think I understand what's happening now. Lieutenant Commander Van Zeele was pursuing Sela because of the parasite. She probably even started that fight she called us for to help finish. She's been under the thrall of the Iconians this whole time, and she's been making sure she stuck close to you and Sela so she could try to figure out Sela's plan and then eliminate her. If Sela wants Sela, if the Iconians want Sela this badly, she's probably on the right track. Okay, obelisk to one to beam directly to sickbay, alert neurology, and prepare for trauma response. There we go. I'll just put in those coordinates. Oh, it's it's a little bit slow, but you eventually get there, honestly. Okay, I need to view, check out my second computer here. Come on. Thank you. Okay, give me a second, chat. I can't really see you. There we go. Hey, up here! Stop running ahead! Hurry up! They'll find us soon. Okay, one second. There we go. Good. There's a gateway on this side. We won't be stuck here. Now, let's see what secrets we can wrest from this facility. <gasps> you! Taurus. Stop her! Oh, there go. Here's some obelisk swarmers. Not automated mine, by the way. defenses? What a waste of time. Hey, those automated defenses are pretty good. Especially with the ones on my ship. Maybe well, that's because we refurbished him. Get that force field down. I won't let you take me. We need to catch her before she can cause any more trouble. Ah, door. She's locked the door. Try to unlock it with one of these consoles. That's what I'm doing. Interesting. According to this data, we're in the Andromeda Galaxy. You should download some of these files to your tricorder. Hmm. This sphere seems to be much older than the others. There's communication traffic from Iconian ships inside the sphere. I've never seen these kinds of vessels before. Okay, come on. Ah, here we go. Almost there. I like the try another console, try yet Why? another console. The door is open. Anyway, Yoza, they they put it out at a nice, it's a nice slow but even pace. Taurus must have overloaded the kilometers in that plasma. She's turned this room from a plasma allocation conduit into a death trap. 
Who even builds rooms like this into a structure anyway? There are control consoles across from the containment area. If you can get to them, you can probably shut down the system. Why don't you go across then? Without my help, you won't be able to get the gateway open to return home once we're done. You need me alive. Don't worry, I'll keep a hypo spray handy. Fine. Well, I think it's because Iconian bullshit, that's why. Okay. All of you wait here. Backtrack. There we go. There's nowhere left to run, Taurus. Do you really think the Iconians will help you now? No, you don't understand. I didn't seek them out because I wanted to rule. I needed them to save us, to turn back time, to undo Hobus, and bring back Romulus. Then you're more of a fool than I thought. You poor deluded creature. The Iconians aren't interested in saving anything. Nor could they. We have to get out of here. It's not safe anymore. They're coming. I guess you'd better go then. If you had only known Taurus... The Iconians can't travel through time. It destroys their minds. The sphere just jumped. Look, it's nighttime inside the sphere, but it's never dark inside the other spheres. The Iconian fleets are here, and there are so many ships they're blotting out the sun. Oh shit. I see you. Time to go. Yeah, we better get the heck out of Dodge. How absurd to think that she could have ever accomplished anything significant. She lost her throne and spent years in mindless devotion to gods who could not hear or answer her prayers. Back something over. Taurus's fanaticism blinded her. She studied everything about the Iconians, but never learned the one simple fact that would have ended her quest. There was only one thing she didn't get wrong. We need to leave. Immediately. Clarify for me, why can't the Iconians travel through time? Iconian minds aren't like ours. They're entangled with chroniton states. I have no idea, Yoza. Details. It helps to orient them when using their gateways, but it means that they can't go back and forth in time like we can. Doing so would cause the Iconian to lose its memories of the intervening time. All right. All we've seen so f anyway, all we've seen so far are automated defenses. Why the hurry? We could learn more about the Iconians' plan here. Take a look at the sky. In a sphere like this, nothing should obscure the sun. Those aren't clouds. Oh, Iconian ships so many that they're blotting out the sun. Uh -oh. Did you feel that? The sphere just jumped. The Iconian invasion is beginning. You were warned. Your galaxy is forfeit. Well, if you stopped messing with our galaxy, we wouldn't have. Uh oh. One herald. It's a herald. The personal guards and servants of the Iconians. Fighting is not the best option. Head for the gate. Run! Oh, I could defeat him. The Herald will be back. Regroup, everyone. Ow. 
Ow. <laughs> Ah, but we all got knocked out. <laughs> the gateway is destabilizing. I'll take. <laughs> Didn't hear you, Sailor. I just jumped, <laughs> jumped off the balcony through it. Oh, this starts on the day that I go on my road trip. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of have to team up with everyone. <laughs> Sir, we've been wondering what happens since you disappear from our scanners. Commander sent out a fleet-wide alert. We need you back on the ship right away. I've been on another Iconian sphere that's in preparation for invasion. I need to get in touch with command. We can beam you aboard whenever you're ready, sir. Command wants us to proceed immediately to the Iconia system. Something big is happening. Let's go! No, I don't know that reference, Anne. Oh, there we go. Plotting course for the Iconia system. And we've arrived. Yeah. Our problems just got became a whole lot bigger. Yeah, I don't understand that reference, Yosa, sorry. Oh, it's they, good to have you back. Uh, the Dyson Sphere that. jumped into a position near the Iconia system less than an hour ago. We don't know anything about it, but based on the preliminary notes you've logged, we think it's the same sphere that you discovered with Sela. I hate to admit it, but she was right. The Iconian invasion is here. There's no sign of Sela, incidentally. We'll keep looking, but I have a feeling she won't be found until she wants to be. And as long as she stays away, I'm inclined to let her go. She'll have to answer for her crimes someday, but but we have much more immediate concerns. Agreed. Let's go with the Plasma Repeater. Next. We know that attacks from the Iconian forces are imminent. Their gateway technology means that distance has little meaning for them. Once the war begins in earnest, we will be racing to cover too much territory with too few ships. Okay, Yoza. But we cannot fail. To fight a war, we first need a plan. Admiral Quinn has requested your presence at a briefing on Earth's space dock. All right. Ooh, I can't wait to get these. I like these, um, these training manuals. Okay. The war continues. Okay. Transwarp there. Oh, the Battletech opening. Gotcha. So <laughs> okay, let's begin. Blood of Ancients. Oh, because I want to show off my favorite um, candy because I got 
a whole bunch of it. Hold on a second. Let me just bring this up here. Yeah, these are what I'm talking about. These are sanded lemon drops. Also called old-fashioned lemon drops. You could, um, if I remember correctly, it was both gra my grandmother and my mom introduced me to them. Oh boy, I just loved them. Nice and s the outside is sweet, but the lemon, but the candy itself is nice and tart. Oh, I just love those things. Anyway. Yeah, I've heard heard that. Anyway, let's continue on here. Welcome, and thank you for coming. We've gathered here the finest commanders from Starfleet, the Klingon Defense Force, and the Romulan Republic. And we some random dude, in the aka past. me. <laughs> now, we must fight as one. May I introduce Captain Cogren? He will coordinate our combined forces against the Iconians okay. and report to the commanders of all three A little bit of, of hiccups and there Greetings. we go. The Iconians have revealed themselves. War is now inevitable. While the Iconians themselves are few in number, their heralds are numerous and formidable. They are not like the servitors we have fought before. They are far more dangerous. We are already sending strike teams into the sphere the Heralds use to access the Iconian Gateway Network. They will retaliate. And when they do, they will attack our most valuable targets. The Gateways allow the Heralds to strike anywhere. They can avoid or destroy any obstacle in their path. Therefore, the Alliance has decided to focus on defending key installations. We need time to create a strategy. To that end, let me introduce Captain Tom Paris. Hello, everyone. Okay. Okay, this is what we know about the weaknesses of the Heralds. If we can exploit this, we can... Uh-oh. Oh, it's but... beginning. Oh, bunch of gateways opening Their up. Their goal appears to be New Romulus. The Federation has a star base nearby. Captain Paris, take your task force and the bulk of the fleet to New Romulus. The rest of you, report to Starbase 234. Right now, that Starbase is all that stands between the Heralds and New Romulus. Hold the Heralds there as long as you can. We need time to evacuate civilians and prepare defenses at New Romulus. Today is a good day to die. Okay, the Starbase is already under attack, setting course for the closest group of Herald ships. Red alert, everyone! Herald ships, on an intercept course! All ships, defend the Starbase! I've never seen anything like these Herald ships before! There's too many of them! Begin evacuation procedure! Excuse me. Oh, on one of my alts, I have myself a, a Quas Cruiser. There's a Quas Flight Deck Carrier. I actually, I actually had myself an entire set of Herald Anti-Proton weapons for it. I still do somewhere. On one of my other alts. Bad 
battleship. second everyone we got ourselves someone that needs to be kicked out and oh, come on uh, close you moderator action come on um, oh thank you friend Noel for following Oh, bring it over. There we go. Ban that. Ban that person. I'm doing fine, Freya. Thanks for asking. Okay. Run away, Captain. I uh, will once I'm. You know, I will follow you in a second. There. One follow right back. Oh, we're also up to 90 followers. 10 Welcome more. Welcome to the war. The Romulans are asking for boots on the ground, but we've got more than we can handle up here. There are some weak spots in the Herald lines. If you can punch through to transporter range, you should be able to get a team down there to assist. I already did that, Frail. Anyway. Anyway, I see we're all up we're up to 90 followers now. Nice. Ten more and we'll complete our follower goal. Anyway, back to the game. Sure thing, Captain. that after stream because I because I can Great have work. one web browser one open at a time plan. for <laughs> for chat. Don't want to risk you know, any unstable connection here. You're close, but the fighting on the ground is getting worse. They need you down there. Yes, the I know. The situation has become desperate on the surface. Good luck down there, and watch your back. The heralds aren't pulling their punches. I appreciate it, Captain. Okay, we've entered the transport room, Captain, and blocked it in the coordinates provided by Alliance Command. The obelisk can remain in orbit, defends the plan as long as possible. Okay, let's beam down. Okay, transport is site secure. We should clear the camp and call for reinforcements. Acknowledged. Yeah, a bit later. Right now, I want to get 
I'm gonna focus on the stream here. Okay, we're on the blue with reinforcements. Thank you. Now that the area is secure, we can call in reinforcements. Subcommander Zylan is ready to lead a squad to assist you. Should I call them now? Yes. Oh shit. I won't. Ah, much. Glad I have myself that timeline. Oh, say that paradox corrector. A position in the ruins. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, Herald energy beams just punch right through the EV suit. Okay, between the weapon damage and losing heat pressure, this Tholian didn't stand a chance. Indeed. Position. We must hold here. Okay, I need to get rid of that triple. Here we go. Okay, my throat is... Actually, my throat's dry even though I'm having... drink. Tarsi. Oh, still unconscious. There we go.
with the pass. There is a camp near the power station. There will be reinforcements there. All right. Okay, we got the reinforcements. Got the phaser flamethrower, or say plasma flamethrower, turn this up and running. Reinforcements are on their way. Watch out! Gateway opening to the east. Watch out! Gateway opening to the east. Ow. Is the turret during doing? Okay, it's doing good. Herald inbound from the southeast. Okay, we need we need more reinforcements. Watch out! Gateway opening to the east. Herald inbound from the southeast. Need to hold out a little bit longer. We have retaken the room. Shall I call in for our next objective? Yes, contact command. The Bruins are ours! Okay, everyone, go! Go now! Okay, the Romans have been clearing and repairing the gateway chamber since the incident when it, fir when it first was opened. The gateway shelf should be functional. We can reach it. We should be able to use it to get back to the ship. Let's go! Yeah, blah blah blah. Agree. Let's find the gateway. New Romulus is reporting heavy casualties. What happened to Kind of busy at the moment, Tom. 
Sensors are picking up some of the unusual power emanations from the surface. Be careful. Harbinger of Batara. First access this. <laughs> I know we have a shotgun, sir, but maybe charging headfronts against an energy enemy of powerful and unknown abilities may not work 100% of the time. What do you mean? <laughs> it usually works. <laughs> ah, you're right. Let's see what we got here. We got ourselves a shotgun pistol, dual pistols, uh, another shotgun, split beam rifle. A sniper rifle that that's basically real good on Borg by bypassing their shields, and a sniper rifle. Take your pick. <laughs> oh, great! More tribbles. I'll just find you a nice, safe spot to to leave you be. Let's access the destination plotter. Okay, looks like the plotters set for. They're still set. Looks like they were going for the Preserver Archive on Lena on Lenos Three. Okay, then we need to find out why. In case you're wondering, in case you're wondering, this is referencing a, another another um, story arc that's now basically been tech removed from the main story arc. Basically, this is a basically is now like a side story thing. And that would be one second. The available talk. It would be you with talking to Quinn about basically going up against the Breen for the Defari here. And basically, what happens in that story arc is you basically have to go through, get this entire map by, by the ancients, or say the preservers. And it'll lead you to one of their archives. Anyway, let's access the Romulan database here. Okay, as far as I can tell, the heralds were attempting to access the Romulan library files. They were looking for information about the preservers. Okay, but why though? That's the question. And let's access the main gateway console. Okay, the gateway is operational, sir. As far as I could, and as far as I could tell, the heralds were imparting a series of coordinates. If they were looking for something. They found it. The gateway is locked onto a location. Acknowledged. Okay, based on this information we've recovered, we can activate this gateway. It would take us directly to the preserver archive. Make it so.
I'm a little busy here. What do you need? The Heralds were in investigating the preservers and they found the archive in the Lainos system. Their archive in the Lainos system. We're taking the gate the gateway, but we need you to rally the fleet and meet us there. Acknowledged. Wouldn't want to miss the party. I'll get every ship with an operational warp drive headed that way as soon as New Romulus is secure. All right. See you soon, Captain. Okay, we heard, overheard your conversation with Captain Paris, sir. The Obelisk will rendezvous with you in the Lainos system. Excellent. Actually, you know what, Yosi? You're right. Um, shotguns may not be worth be worth it. Do you want me to get out a mini gun? I'll show you what I mean in a second. Here, I have to wait for this to load up. Federation captain, not a hunchback pilot. <laughs> okay, come on. There we go. Thank you, game. And I'll show you what I mean in a second, Yoza. First off... Okay, we got ourselves this phaser assault minigun. <laughs> Let me just pop you there, swap, and bring it out! <laughs> because I can't really target anything, let's, oops, one second. Uh, I'm trying to get to first person, that's crouch. There we go. As I was saying, minigun! <laughs> Go back to the full, full, uh, say the, the, what was it again, the full auto rifle. Alright. So we're in the Preserver Archive and Lena system. The Heralds were searching for this place, Captain. We need to know why. I recommend we ask the Archivists. They, there must be something here that they don't want the, Ico that either the Iconians want, or they don't want us to have. I'll speak to the Archivist. Okay, welcome. We've long waited for our children to seek us out. Okay, first off, were you? I am the guardian of all who my people were and all that they remember. My task was to keep the archive safe until the day when our children would be united and would want to know who we were. Okay, tell me about your race. Long ago. Life developed on our world before all others. We explored the galaxy, but we were alone. But what is life when there is no one with which to share the joys or the sorrows? So if the galaxy would not give us companions, we would create them. We created you. Our scientists seeded many worlds and directed evolution. We wanted you to resemble us, but more importantly, we wanted you to understand us. Okay, are there more preservers here? Hundreds. While each preserver has the genetic memory of the entire race, it was deemed important to preserve individuals, so that if the time came when we could live with our children, there would be sufficient numbers to maintain our species. We built this place and slept, dreaming of the world that would become. We dreamed of the world you would create. Okay, what do you know of the Iconians? The Iconians. I am not programmed for this line of inquiry. Would you like me to wake one of my creators? Please you do. You can ask her all the questions you wish. Please do. Hello. There we go. Greetings, my child. 
Long have I slumbered. Why have you roused me now? Greetings, Ancient One. We face a great threat from the people known as the Iconians, and we have come to seek your help. Ah, the Iconians. They are the first of our children, and for a time, the most troublesome. They were different once, brighter. But our other children grew jealous of their gifts, and chafed against their rule. The war changed them more than they could understand. I will help you, my child. Thank you. Hold. I sense her approach. Our daughter, Matara, comes. She is first among equals, and her rage is terrible to behold. Go. I will retrieve what you seek, if it is not already too late. Oh, a little bit too far. Three yeah. Hour. Hold. Yeah, okay, I please hurry, Ancient One. Down here does not seem smart, in my opinion. Dealing with the, dealing with them, I need to swap to a different module. Let's wait until that expires. Let's go with the what is it? the ambush turrets. I know I know it'll take a few seconds to recharge, but hey. And also. Yeah, I can't get to the other ones, they're in my, in my storage, so... Life sign, sir, he's gone. To have lived so long and ended like this. Uh, we must do what we can to save the others, everyone. We're in orbit, and we're not alone. The rest of the fleet is about two minutes out, but the Heralds are here, and they do not look happy. If you're done down there, can you beam back to your ship and give us a hand? Yep. 
Beam up. They are not kidding around. Raise your shields. We need to hold out until the rest of the fleet arrives. We'll do, Captain. Red alert. The Heralds are sending reinforcements. Watch your back. Where are the Heralds getting all these ships? More inbound. Yeah, they're, it's from their sphere. They literally blotted out the sun. Tell me that <laughs> it's not just simply a waiting game. Okay, oh, there we go. Some more Herald ships. More Heralds. Oh, I thought the board had a lot of ships. Just a little longer. And I'll put the turret back on my character once we're out of combat here. Come on. Thank you. More Herald ships on an intercept course. And here comes the fleet. And the cavalry arrives just in the time. Let's show these Heralds what we can do. Dreadnought. We'll hold the Herald forces here. Alpha Team, engage that Dreadnought before it can power up its weapon. Oh, it's over there. Making a dent? Nope. Wiped out a bit of the fleet and let's 
Looks like wiped out the Preserver Archive. But <coughs> the Heralds have withdrawn, sir, but this wasn't a victory. We almost we lost almost a third of the fleet, the archive and the archive is completely lost. All the knowledge and all the remaining preservers, they're all gone. The Alliance wants us to go to the Rhyme of the Flotilla for debriefing. I can set it up course as soon as you're ready. Let's warp there. Okay, Admiral Wiles, though this is a dark day, you have served admirably. Oh. <laughs> One second. Sorry about that. Anyway, the loss of the archive is regrettable, but the preservers are not the only casualties this day. There will be more death before this war ends, but those of us who survive will be stronger. The Iconians that think they can win this war, they think we are weak. They are wrong. We will fight, and if need be, we will die. But we will fight until our last breaths. Okay, this also gives me access to some good quality anti-proton beams. Actually, some very rare ones, that is. Let's just get the resonant transphasic torpedo here. The war continues, and all of our warriors are needed to fight. Okay. Captain Tom Paris has requested your ship for a joint mission with his task force. I, I won't need to clear out to this. We're not making much... Oops. Thought I could do that while I was talking. Sorry about that, folks. Let's just clear out this. Keep it the plasma repeater. There we go. Anyway. Captain Tom Paris has requested your ship for a joint mission with his task force. I won't lie to you. We're not making much headway against the Iconians so far. You and your crew have proven to be capable of fighting them. Delta Flight is one of the only other teams to do so. Together, perhaps you can start to turn the tide. Report to the Cal Brighton system. Captain Paris and his team are waiting for you there. All right. I know what I'm going to get. I'm going to get that. The Polaric Modulator. The war continues. Anyway. Yeah, the stabilizing resonance beam is one of my favorite, um, favorite, um, um things for a science officer. But right now, I can't put it on that because it has, there's only the ensign, the ensign, um, the con or the science station, which only allows hazard emitters, which I need. Ooh, excuse me. Okay. Begin Delta Flight. If it's the one I think it is, we're going to have to go with the easy setting because, well, as you can tell, tell with my carrier, it flies like a brick. You are cleared for transport, at your convenience. All right. So 
Sir will be monitoring the system for Herald patrols while you're in the briefing. Transport room will stand by to return you to the ship immediately if they enter sensor range. Understood. Welcome to the USS Byrne. Normally I'm the security chief and second officer on the USS Kirk, but she took heavy damage during the battle in the Lenas system. Until she gets out of dry dock, I and many of the crew accepted temporary postings to other ships. I wasn't expecting to get a request to join my father's task force, but Delta Flight is doing some good. I want to help. It'll be good working with you. I'm looking forward to it too. I don't know what crazy scheme my father's cooked up this time, but the more off the wall his ideas are, the more they seem to work. With you on the team, I'm sure we'll complete this mission. But let me know if you need me to translate. Dad has this habit of talking in phrases that went out of style 400 years ago. I'll keep that in mind. Warrior! Join with us and stab at the heart of the Iconians. We will either be victorious, or we race towards Stovacor. Today is a good day. Kapla! I am the team's weapons expert. Most weapons on ships are too puny. I make them strong. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you loaded five quantum torpedoes into one casing? <laughs> you have to reinforce the tubes, but the result is most satisfying. Oh, I'll consider trying that. No, I won't. Okay, Ferrix. Hello there. I'm Ferrix, and I'm a... Well, I don't have a specialization like most of the others. But Captain Paris calls me the cook. I don't know why. I could burn water. But it seems to amuse him for some reason. I'm a traitor and blockade runner. Any place where there's conflict, there's usually a few good deals to be made. I wasn't too sure about leaving the Delta Quadrant. Knowing the territory is a good part of staying alive, you know. But Tom convinced me. And except for all the Heralds trying to kill us, it's not too bad so far. Good to have you on the team. You know, one of the things I've enjoyed the most about coming here is the opportunity to get to know people from other cultures. Klingons, Romulans, humans, Andorians, Betazoids. So many different and intriguing species. Say, after this mission, how about we grab a drink, and I can tell you about the third time I left Benth in custody, and then broke through a fourth defense line to recover the lost chalice of Zizilma. Okay, let's see how this mission goes before we make any future plans, oh? Jolon True, do you understand ancient Earth humor? Paris, the older one, keeps asking me if I am two weeks from retirement. Is that supposed to be... humorous? Not as far as I know. I thought so. Look, when things get messy out there, and they will, stick with the team and keep your head down. If we work together, we might just get out of this in one piece. Most of us, anyway. Thanks. Andrew Weston. All-around genius. Don't let the lack of pips on my collar fool you. I'm just as good as anyone from Starfleet. Better even, because I don't let the rules get in my way. I spent some time at the Academy, but I left when I realized Starfleet wasn't for me. We're all stayed. Always wondered if things would have been different for us if she'd had the courage to walk away when I did. Okay, some of us find discipline and dedication important. Sure. Kirk reprograms the Kobayashi Maru, and he's a legend. I take a creative approach to alter my grade on the Astrometrics final, and I get tossed out on my ear. Starfleet needs to loosen up a bit, if you ask me. And that time I spent in New Zealand? Yeah, I did everything they accused me of, and then I did my time. Like I said, I don't like rules. And yet you volunteered for a war mission. Just because I'm not as stiff doesn't mean I don't want to help win the war. My main focus is computers, specifically encryption algorithms. I've been studying the Iconian tech, and I think I've made some inroads into the fractals they're using for... 
You know what? The details don't matter. When it comes to taking out Iconian security protocols, I'm the man for the job. Okay, the chain of command is there for a reason. Keep your focus on your job. And finally, you. I'm Kana Jinnis, the team scout. No one's better than I am at finding trouble. And believe me, I've found plenty. I, uh, borrowed my first shuttle off a landing pad when I was ten. I didn't think I'd ever have a chance to join Starfleet. But luckily, people like Captain Paris can see the person behind the incident reports. Now I have a chance to make a difference. Glad to meet you, Ensign. It's good to get a chance to know everyone on the team before the action starts. It's bad enough fighting the Herald. We don't need any interpersonal conflicts muddying the waters. You can count on me, sir. Ah. I know I can count on you. Ah, yes indeed. Thanks for coming. Nice to see you again, especially after what happened at New Romulus and Lanus. As you well know, the war is not going too well. Delta Flight is one of the ways we're trying to change that. We're a cross-faction team picked for our abilities, not our politics. Now the Alliance needs us to handle an important mission. I hate putting your crew at risk too, but we're gonna need you on this one. What do you need? Oh, not much. We're just going to slip into a heavily guarded system that the Iconians already control, avoid detection and probable destruction, steal a Solonet device that could give them a beachhead in our dimension, and escape with our lives. Sound like fun? I'm ready if you, if you are. So this used to be Calbright and... <laughs> Intelligence believes that the Iconians destroyed the planet to gather materials for a subspace disruption device. We think they intend to use this device to open a door for their Solonet forces to enter our space. A whole new fleet for the Iconians? We can't let that happen. Exactly. But the planetary debris has created an asteroid field, and the mineral content of those asteroids will shield us from the Iconian sensor arrays. I've plotted a course for us, but we'll still need to watch for the Herald patrols. The station with the device is in the center of the debris. Weston will override their computers while we run interference. Once the station shields are down, we'll eliminate it and the device with extreme prejudice. Is that another reference from that ancient program about impossible missions you like to watch? Uh, something like that. <laughs> the Alliance doesn't have a fleet to send against this station. We're it. If we can't do it, no one can. So, no pressure. I hope you're all ready to do the best flying you've ever done, because that's what we're going to need to complete this mission. Let's head them up and move them out. Dismissed. Uh, if one of them starts saying my kingdom for a working auto cannon, then it is. <laughs> okay, transport, transport me directly to the bridge. I have the biggest ship out of the entire entire fleet there. This is gonna be funny. Well, if you go by Battletech, I subscribe to the Steiner method the of scouting. used to be the planet known as Calbriden 3. Uninhabited, luckily. But they had high amounts of topoline, uridium, and boronite. When the boronite and uridium are combined and exposed to an electrical charge, they create spatially inverted tetrions. Lots of spatially inverted tetrions. That's why the Heralds are here. To create a pocket of our space where the Solonet can survive. From there, they'll expand, and what's good for the Solene is fairly terrible for us. Okay, sounds like we arrived at the nick of time. The Heralds have set up a security beacon at the entrance to this system. We'll need to disable it before we can attempt to slip through this asteroid field. All right, setting course for this um, satellite, security perimeter satellite.
Okay, Weston. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to take down this security grid. We only have a limited amount of time before a patrol comes by and finds us. How can we help, Weston? I need help inputting the proper subspace frequencies as I use my deflector dish to cycle through the possibilities. You'll need to match the alpha, beta, and gamma bands. With my subroutine scrambler, that should be enough to break through their security. Okay, I'm ready. Start the sequence. Execute override. Hurry! The security perimeter won't stay down for long. Let's get moving. Okay, here's the good news. The topoline and the planetary debris will hide us from the Herald sensors. Now keep the larger deposits between your ship and the Iconian station. If you stray too far off the path, they'll find us. So keep moving and stay in formation. If you encounter any patrols, take them out as quickly as you can. We need to get in position before the Heralds know we're here. Keep moving and avoid or destroy the Heralds. I could do that. How would you rate your piloting abilities? Uh, fairly average. Bringing up your navigational HUD. Now, try to stick to the path I've outlined. Okay. The mineral content of the asteroids will shield us from the Herald sensors. Try to stay in formation with the rest of the squadron. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. I'm not sure what that means. Is it some kind of alpha quadrant Oof, thing? Uh... Kinda. I'll explain it later, Ferrix. Fire your proton packs, kids. The next turn is a tight one. No kidding! Easy enough for a talented, handsome pilot oh, like myself. Fuck. Got detected here. Speed. Everyone's mom tells them they're handsome, Ferrix. Friendly fire. Ow, I'm wounded. Fewer asteroids through here. More chances of being spotted. Race you. We're in luck. Sensors show that this asteroid is mostly hollow. If we blow through where the rock is thinnest, we can slip through without being detected. Okay, ready to fire. Fire in the hole. <laughs> This reminds me of flying through Earth's space dock. <laughs> they don't like it when you do that at full impulse. Yeah. Uh, wait. Who let Ferrix fly inside ESD? Weston? No comment. Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy night. Okay. Ha, I've flown through worse in the Badlands. Whoa, Moral. Watch the paint job there, Tiger. Don't be a rear seat pilot! I think you mean backseat driver. But we're flying, uh, sir. Herald patrol up ahead. Take them out before they can warn the others. There. I'm jamming their outgoing transmissions. But won't last. Shields are down. We're taking on boarding party. Damn it. Hang on, we're all. I'm bringing a team over to help. Ah. Back 
up over here. Get a team and get over to Morale's ship. Transporting. Okay, come on. My team and the Burns crew have cleared most of the boarding parties, but there are still heralds trying to get to the bridge and more pinning me down near the armory. Head toward me. If we can team up, we can make a push towards the bridge. Agreed. See you soon, Captain. Fell back here to grab some phaser rifles and got bottled up by those heralds. Thanks for the help. Okay, no problem. What's the situation? The bridge crew has sealed off the bridge and locked the ship's computers down, but the heralds aren't giving up. All of the remaining boarding parties are moving toward the bridge. If we don't get there before the heralds break through, they'll slaughter everyone there and set the ship to self-destruct. Okay, what's the plan? Now that you and your team are here, we can clear out the remaining heralds, get to a turbo lift, and head to the bridge. Lock and load, everybody. It's time to save the day. Let's ride. Need the shotgun. <laughs> Get off my ship. Where's a this ship? <laughs> It's not my ship. My ship. <laughs> my ship is just. This is a herald ship. Who's not a herald ship? A obelisk. <laughs> Hand to the bridge. I think that's the last of them. What's our status? All the other ships are secure. Your ship is damaged and you have crew in sick bay, Morale. I don't want any unnecessary casualties. I have great respect for your abilities, but if this is some sort of Klingon, glory-seeking, never give up, today is a good day to die kind of thing... Everyone on this ship knew the risks when we started this mission, including me. The boarding parties are gone and we need to keep moving. We have to get to the station and finish our mission before we run into any more Herald patrols. Can your ship continue? As much as I hate to say it, you're right. If we live through this, your mom is going to be so proud, but she's going to think I was an idiot for trying to hold you back. That's if we live. What do we need to do to get your ship back up and running? I'd like to help help as well. What can we do? I know a few of Andrew's tricks. Use one of his encrypted override codes to lock the heralds out of our computer so they couldn't take control of the ship. I could use some extra hands to get these systems restored. Nice trick. Good job on the computers, Morale, but... But Andrew? Did he teach you anything else that got him sent to a penal colony? Can't can't that wait till later, Captain? We need to get the burn back online. Okay, where to? Over here. Start computer controls, which is over here.
That does nope. it. Let's both get back to our ships and finish this. Obelisk 2, we're ready for transport. The Heralds are going to notice one of their patrols is missing. Let's move. Ready whenever you are. Time to pick up the pace, people. I got some scans of those ships. Should give me an advantage when we get to the station. We're coming up on the center of their operations. Detecting Solene energy signatures ahead. Ah, Solene, ugh. They give me the creeps. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. Target the ships defending the station. Ah. Stuck because of something we had a carrier wave. Weston, you're up. <laughs> we'll keep him busy. I don't think so. On it. Iconian energy signature detected. Uh -oh. Evasive maneuvers. Pattern, Paris Delta 2. Andrew! Damn. We need to abort. We can't do this without Weston. I can do it. Andrew gave me a backup copy of his algorithms in case something happened. We're... We're falling back. Dad, I know you mean well. I have to do this. You know <laughs> what will happen if the Solene can break through. We'll lose everything. Okay, Moral. You can be almost as stubborn as your mother, but I know when I'm beat. All right, people, you heard her. We're going in hot. Cover Moral's ship so she can finish this. We are Delta Flight, and we will not be stopped. Detecting a power surge. I have their main computer. 
They're still trying to start the conversion process, but their shields are completely down. Okay, let's blow up this thing and head home. We're being pulled in. Evasive maneuvers. Yee-haw! Hope they weren't sure. Uh-oh. I found something interesting in the computer system before the station blew. It's coordinates for another sphere. And this one looks to be very strategically important. It might even be a secondary hub for the Iconian Gateway Network. I grabbed everything on it I can find. I'll transmit the files to Captain Cogren at Alliance Command. Maybe he can get a team together to investigate. Okay, one second. I need to check on something here real quick. Okay. Okay, acknowledged. It was a pleasure working with you, Lieutenant Commander. The station is destroyed, and we've completed our mission. But not without paying a price. Weston was a talented engineer and a damn fine pilot. He may not have wanted to be in Starfleet, but there was a time I didn't think I was Starfleet material either. Sometimes rebels make the best officers. We know our duty. We just have our own way of getting it done. Sometimes you have to break the rules to uphold the law. <laughs> exactly. It's been a pleasure flying with you. Maybe we can do it again sometime before this thing ends. Consider yourself an honorary member of Delta Flight. Thank you, Captain Paris. And Losing Weston is regrettable, but we needed a victory today. Thanks to you, we have won. Defeating a Herald Dreadnought is a significant achievement. Destroying their station and keeping the Solanae locked in subspace is even more valuable. The number of ships and soldiers we have is finite. We cannot allow the Iconians to have a numerical advantage as well as a technological one. I will examine the files Lieutenant Commander Paris managed to recover from the Herald computers. Perhaps a strike on this base she found will be our next move. All right. The war continues, and all of our warriors are needed to fight. Okay, in case you're wondering what that was, what that would be, the, that that Herald sphere, it would be under the task force. It would be, under the Iconian marks, the Herald Sphere. Which basically is just where they are. Basically a base, basically. Anyway. The Empire requires your assistance with a covert mission deep in Iconian territory. It is dangerous, but if successful, it has a chance of turning the tide of the war in our favor. Report to the Danasia system. There you will meet a man named Ramir. He wants to explain the details of the operation to you personally. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the space trait. Or the starship trait. I have no idea. I have to double check here real quick. Let me see what the best defense does. Come on. Ah. S sorry, the wiki is being a little bit of a hissy. We're having a little bit of a hissy here. Okay, I can't find it right off the t here. Oh, wait, there's another way to do this. There we go with the mish. Go to the mission. Okay, attack patterns grant hull healing along with their normal effects. 
And Point Blake Shot is basically bonus energy weapon damage based on distance to target. I'll take the trait then. The space trait, that is. The war continues. Just transwarp there since it doesn't cost any money. Yeah, it used to cost energy credits to go go to go to to transwarp places um for missions that is. Ready for transport. Okay, give me one second, everyone. Someone sent a friend request on... on Discord. And it's basically for... for something else, which... is basically... basically trying to make friends from... From that server in particular. Okay, transfer confirmed. Alex will stand by when you're ready to return. Acknowledged. Kapla, and welcome aboard the IKS Hague. My name is Ramir, and this is my ship. You ask for me personally? Your reputation for getting the job done precedes you. Alliance Command gave me the authority to pick who would assist us on this mission. And your name was at the top of the list. But you don't have much of a reputation. If you do not know about my team or our missions, then I have been successful. There are many battles fought in shadow. Now, if you don't have any further questions, follow me to the briefing room. I will give you more details about our mission there. All right, lead the way. Go to the meeting room, and then I'll Eager be for battle. I see. Good, good. Okay. <laughs> oh look, a puppy. Nope, it's the captain's targ. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, it was a car alarm going off, but I'll be right back, everyone. I need to get myself a refill on my drink. My throat is getting parched. So, be right back, everyone. All right, I'm back with with a glass of cold water. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, that was weird. It wasn't sh the game wasn't showing up on the thing here. In or say in there. I'll figure that out later. Anyway. Data recovered from the station in the Calbriden system has pinpointed the location of a second base in the Danasia system, containing several of the Iconian's Omega generators. I understand you had a hand in recovering this information. Yeah, that's classified. I'm sorry. Of course. Nevertheless, we have the coordinates of the Iconian base. Our plan is to sneak in and sabotage the Omega generators. Taking them out will cripple the Iconian's ability to refine the Omega molecules that fuel their gateway networks. Okay, how are we supposed to sneak into the system? Infiltration is our specialty, and we have technology not available to other ships of the fleet. Our cloaking device can extend to protect your ship as well. That should be sufficient to protect us. Sounds risky. What if the Iconians find us? Then we fight. I expect we will have to fight our way out anyway, after we detonate the Omega Generators. I hope your crew is up to the challenge. What's the risk of nullifying warp travel for late years around the Denesia system? Our scientists put the risk of a catastrophic reaction at less than 7%. That is an acceptable risk. Yeah, but any chance of Omega detonation is too great of a chance. This is our mission. You, of course, have the authority to change our mission parameters. All right, I'll speak to your technical expert and come up with a better solution. Belair is right over there. She will also be a part of the away team to help extract any Iconian intelligence we find in the facility. Be careful. Her mate Travana is very protective. Understood. What do you want? Our mayor suggested I speak to Belair. Why? Our mission parameters. Don't worry, Travana. It's fine. Okay, Romero tells me there's a chance of causing a mega chain reaction when we blow the generators. Yes, but the chances are slight. If the charges are properly placed and calibrated, it should not be a problem. Now, there must be a better way. Well, the risk comes from non-stabilized Omega particles. They are very unstable. If a chain reaction starts, we will not be able to stop it. If that happens, we'll lose our ship, yours, and anything within a few thousand kilograms at the least. But if that happens, the heralds in the system will be destroyed too. That's something. Okay, we got the technology to stabilize the Omega particles, but it will take more time though. Right. If we were to stabilize the particles into one or more Omega molecules, the chance of a detonation would be greatly reduced. I will need to run some numbers. We will have to give ourselves more time in the facility, and there is a greater risk of discovery, but it might be the better option. I agree. Make your calculations, I'll update the mission parameters. I disagree. Taking the time to stabilize the molecules puts the team in danger. Afraid of a little danger, Trevania? You insult my honor. It is my duty to protect this team. I will not sacrifice Belair's, our lives, for needless precautions. I'm changing the mission, and it's it is a necessary change. I won't be responsible for the loss of warp travel in this region. So be it, Batak. I heard that, Targ. Let's get back to my ship.
are beyond the Herald sensor range. But we should not approach any closer without the protection of a cloaking device. Agreed. Once we get close to the planet, we will not be able to risk a wide scan. So we will need to perform a series of pinpoint triangulation scans in order to locate the facility housing the Omega Generators. At least we can remain cloaked while we do so. Fortunate. Once we have the location of the facility, my team will meet yours on the surface. And then we're finished. Then arm your weapons and prepare for battle. Our cloaks will do us no good after the Heralds discover our sabotage. Affirmative. So here there's something on the surface of Denasia Prime. Our scanners can only tell its Iconian nature. We'll need to coordinate with Ramir to cut through some of the interference. Hail him. In order to expedite the triangulation process, my ship will move away from yours and perform our own scan. Once we have reached a distance of four kelicams. Okay, four kelicams is eight kilometers. Okay, I'll move the obelisk to that far from your ship. Position confirmed. Beginning scans. Sensor interference is preventing us from getting a good reading. Move to 16 kilometers. 16 kilometers confirmed. Beginning sensor sweep. Belair here. I have coordinates for the facility, but I cannot do a deep scan without revealing our presence. We will be beaming in blind. I'll prepare my way, team, and meet you on the surface. Okay, Ramirez team has shared the data with us, and we have transport. And we have transport co coordinates. I see they have a little bit of a typo here. We add, and we add half. <laughs> okay, the away team will meet you in the transport room when you're ready. Okay, let's go. All right, we're about. Well, um, give me one second. All right, had to, had to do some checking and we well, can go for an extra hour. So let's talk to Ramir. This facility was very well concealed and shielded. Even now, our scans are so limited we cannot get an accurate readout of the layout. Yeah, the Omega Generators put out a large amount of interference. Ambient radi radiation levels are elevated. True, but our tricorders will be of assistance while navigating. Okay, we should set out. Now that we are on site, there is something you need to know. Withholding information from an Admiral Ramir? Only because I had orders which would supersede yours. I am not the leader of House Peg. Now that we have secured the landing area, it is safe for him to join us. 
If you're not leading this mission, then who is? Ramir to Hake. We are ready for him. Ah, Kalos! <laughs> Kapla! You and your team have done well so far. Now, let us vanquish our foes! Kalos? I am more than a figurehead. A man cannot lead an empire of warriors without being a warrior himself. I carry the Sword of Kalos! A weapon of fables. Forged by Kalos the Unforgettable in the fires of the Kristok Volcano and cooled in the icy waters of the Lake of Lusor. This blade slew Molor, it conquered the Fakiri, and created a mighty empire. Now I will wield it against the infernal servants of the demons of air and darkness. Do you think we'll need the sword here? There is always a need for the Sword of Kalos. It is a symbol of eternal victory. No one who uses it can be defeated. Alright. Okay, disable the helpful pop-ups, please. Anyway. Generators that way. We're right behind you. I had the map for a few for a second. Sensors are picking up a different Omega generator. My team will handle this one. All right, this way. Oh, Arbiter. Stabilize the first generator. There we go. Add the explosives. Our charges are set. We will meet with you in the hallway ahead. There they are. We got some information from the Iconian network. How did you do? Found, we found a terminal, but we can't read the data. Fortunately, I come prepared. My tricorder is loaded with the best decryption subroutines available in the Empire. Here's... I wrote a couple of them myself. 
Here, see what you can do. Hmm, this is interesting. There are battle plans here for the Delta Quadrant. The Iconians were advising the Vardwar for months before the conflict started then. In fact, the Iconians insisted that the Vardwar start their attack in the Krenim Imperium, although yep. they didn't say why. I also see data on where the Omega Energy is being distributed. This is good. If we use this, we can attack the subspace stations where... Oh no! What is it? To Ket! One of the Iconians! She... It... Is here! Okay, to Ket's presence doesn't change what we're here to do. We need to finish this job. Yes, sir. We need to find the last generator. Let's go. Okay, where's... Oh. Use that panel to access a visualization node and locate the last Omega Generator. All right. Zoom in on that! It's to cat. An Iconian. My blood sings for this battle. It will be glorious. Well, we are, but right now, Kalis is going to be splitting off from us. Anyway, but I, I agree. But I don't think you should face it alone. Kalis, my emperor. You are the strongest of Klingons. You wield the sword of Kalos. But there is no one who can face an Iconian in single combat. Listen to Ramir. The war does not go well for us. You all know what we face. Our people need a symbol to inspire them. That is what I was created to be. This battle will be one of legend. Every soldier of the Empire will have this tale on their lips. Do they need a martyr to inspire them? This is not my day to die. It is my day to kill an Iconian! Trevena, Belair, you want to weigh in now on this? Who am I to argue with the Emperor? Belair? Firing a disruptor at an Iconian is like attacking a starship with a stick. The Sword of Kaelas is a remarkable weapon. It might be the only thing that could work. Alright then. I know what I'm beat. Kaelas, what's your plan then? We part ways here. Complete your mission. I will descend to the lower level and challenge the Iconian. Fight well, fight well, Emperor. We create a legend this day. Remember it. We will assist you in any way we can. If anyone can kill an Iconian, it is Kalos. Okay. That way? Miko Kara Endokila Kedo Chum Are no Kila Napare Jo Mara Eko Rika 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 Nasopaka Kiroha Rika, I have come for you. Ah, okay. Rika, Face me, creature. Rika, okay, there's a little bit of a bug there. Combat. Come forth. I am Kalos, the Unforgettable. Destroyer of Molor, defender of Kamchi, and emperor of the Klingons. In my hands is the sword of Kalos, first of its kind. Will you not face me, Tiket? What could a being such as yourself have to fear from one man? Fear you We are in. 
strong. Nothing Kalis can do is hurting it. We have to weaken the Iconian, and I think I know how. Omega molecules gather energy like sponges in water. That's why a small amount of Omega can generate such a vast amount of power. Quick, find a console and activate the reactor. If we hit the Iconian with Omega, we might be able to injure it. Honorable warrior will always prevail, demon. Exact, you dead. You are no god to catch, and your tyranny ends now. Now, to finish this. And stab to the back. Destroy her. Need to hack. Emergency transport now. Well, at least you now know that they bleed. <laughs> Proverbially, anyway. We've lost Kalis, and we were unable to stop the production of Omega molecules. The Iconian War will continue, and much blood will be shed. The mission wasn't a complete loss. True. The data recovered by your team and Blair will be invaluable to the Alliance. The only thing to do is make sure it reaches them. To do that, we must escape this system. Agree, the Alliance needs us. You're right. We can't risk this intel not making it back to the homeworld. I've pinpointed an excellent transmission spot near here, where we can send out an encrypted microburst of data. If we don't make it out of here, at least the information can be of use to those who still fight. The Emperor's sacrifice cannot be in vain. The Iconians will try to stop us. Let's go. Transmission. I told you, Gateways. It's an ambush. Center, we're clear of the Iconian patrols. We're gonna leave the system on your orders. Let's get out of here. Uh, 
I will mourn for Kalis, but celebrate his life. He was a clone, but he found honor in this life. Now I trust he will find Stovacor to his liking. But before he fell, he showed us the Iconians are mortal. His sacrifice will lead our way to victory. Hail Kalis, Emperor and Conqueror! The war continues, and all of our warriors are needed to fight! We have a lead on the Krenim. Voyager went to Krenim space looking for them a few months ago but didn't find much more than a Vaudwa and some anomalous sensor readings. But now, we found a Ferengi, selling what he claims are Krenim artifacts. You are authorized to negotiate with the Ferengi and obtain these artifacts. Follow the trail where it leads. We need a weapon against the Icodians, and the Vaudwa have gone to a great deal of trouble to keep whatever secrets the Krenim have out of our hands. The war continues. Yeah, it was just something else that... Yeah, I'm fine. It was a case of something IRL that needed to be taken care of real quick. Ah. And I tangled up my wire. <laughs> Once... There we go. Just so you know, we got our... I've secured an extra hour for us tonight because since I'm going to be going on vacation... Or say, going on... Going on vacation for the... Going on the break, I should say, on the 16th, 19th, and 20th, and we'll be streaming on the 23rd. So, might as well give a little bit of a special of an extra hour. Anyway, go to Josanna. Welcome to Josanna. You're cleared for docking. We have everything you need for shore leave, and a few things that you didn't even know you wanted. Shopping, drinking, dining, entertainment. You'll find it all here. And don't forget the 77th okay, position. If you break it, I'll charge you for it. All right, let's dock. And we'll take the turbo lift. And time in a bottle. Oh, <laughs> for Iggy, never mind. You're good. <laughs> you like them. Okay.
Okay, time in a bottle. Okay, before we do, taking care of this while I'm thinking about it. Space trait! Okay, accuracy, and I kinda need that. Kinda need that. Need that. Let's... Kinda need that also. Get rid of Thrill Seeker. Point blank shot. There we go. And also take care of the whole... Let's go with this. Because it'll also give me the command fr frequency trait, which I kind of need. Let's go remove the reconstructive conversion, add in co command frequency, which... Hold on a second. Oh, nope. Stick with the... Uh, the reconstructive conversion. Okay, anyway. Sir, business facilitator Quinn has rented a space at the station for his private sale, sales meetings. We aren't sure what this object is selling he is, but the rumors are that a technological device of some sort. The price Quinn's asking for, for asking for it is significant. You could buy a moon for this much latinum. Starfleet Command reports that additional assistance is en route. Well, that we should go ahead and make the attempt to obtain the device. Understood. May I help you? Oh. Wait, you must be. I'm sorry, but the business facilitator is busy at the moment and cannot be disturbed. We had an appointment? Yes, but Quen left me explicit instructions about this. He's in the middle of a delicate negotiation to triple his profits on the sale of a rare Delta Quadrant artifact, and cannot be disturbed. Doesn't Quen want to hear an uh, offer from the combined financial resources of Starfleet, the Klingon Empire, and the Romulan Republic? Maybe. Let's see. It was something... Krenim, I think? Oh, Delta Quadrant treasures are all the rage right now. Artifacts from cultures the Vadwar wiped out are particularly valuable. Quen's made quite a bit of latinum bringing them back through the gateways. Now, that profit-sharing plan he promised me hasn't materialized, but is it my place to complain? I know you're just doing your job, but it's very important that we get that artifact, please. I'm sorry, but my instructions were very clear. Okay, there must be something we could do for you in exchange. Well, I'm sorry, but I need this job. I'm trying to save up enough for a ticket off this station. I'll arrange for transportation for you to go anywhere you like to go, free of charge. You, you can? What am I saying? You have a starship, of course you can. Go on ahead. Quen and the other buyer are in the cargo bay, but you better hurry. They were trying to get the deal finalized before you could stop them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting us pass. My crew will main make arrangements for you. Not so fast! The gentleman with the rather imposing associates over there has just made a very competitive offer for the device. Care to make a counter bid? I'll make it worth your time to deal, with exclu deal exclusively with me. You said there weren't any other buyers, Quinn! Now what do I see? Starfleet Stooges here to cause trouble! Guards, get these riffraff out of here so I can conclude my deal in peace. I'm not leaving without the device. Dang, nausea kills. 
Okay, I'm waiting for those to... How long do they take? Okay, 20 seconds. There we go. This... Fine! I'll add what I was going to pay those guards to my office. Hold it! I am Nog, son of Grand Nagus Rong. And I am a Ferengi. And when you deal with these people, you deal with me. Uh, you have a choice. Either deal with me, or I ask my father to have a word with the liquidators about your poor business practices. Um, well, I'm sure we can come to an understanding. That's what I thought. Now, kiss the staff. Get out! Not you, Quinn. Here's my best offer. How about we agree on a price, and you get your Delta Quadrant doodad, and I leave. Everyone's happy. Not so fast, Quinn. No? Fine. How about I answer your questions, and maybe then I get to leave. But let's get on with it. Every minute I stand here, I'm losing a strip of latinum. Time is a very valuable commodity. Okay, what do you know about the relic? The device is Krenum in origin. Specifically, it's from the Krenum Imperium. Constructed sometime in the mid-22nd century, if I had to take a guess. Strange piece of technology. I haven't seen anything else like it. Highly advanced, and it has hallmarks of Krenum work. But it's, uh, odd. Definitely odd. What happened to the Krenum? The Vodlar, that's what. At one point, the Krenum Imperium held more than 200 star systems in the Delta Quadrant. They lost some of that territory in a couple wars, but overall they were doing well. Not the biggest business in the Quadrant, but not the smallest either. When the Vardwar started their war, Gaul took a special interest in the Krenum, bombed them back to the Stone Age, and then some. As far as anyone knows, the Krenum are basically extinct these days. Okay, then where did you get the device? I picked it up from a Talaxian who wanted to trade for supplies. He told me he got it from the uh, Kayana system. That was it. There used to be a Krenum colony there, but it's gone now. Just like the rest of their empire. Gone? The Vadra destroyed them? The Talaxian wasn't very clear on that. He just said, gone. If I'd asked any more questions, he might have increased his price. Anything else? As a show of good faith to the son of the Nagus, I'm willing to tell you for free. But don't let this get around. It would ruin my reputation as a businessman. The device emits some unusual energy readings. The shielding may have malfunctioned, or maybe it's not fully operational anymore. I'm not sure. But that's why I'm selling it as an antique. As is, and no refunds. What kind of unusual energy readings? Do I look like a member of the Vulcan Science Academy to you? I don't know. It's yours now. You paid for it. You figure it out. I hope it doesn't blow up your ship. <laughs> Now, may I go so we can put all this unpleasantness behind us? I want to drown my sorrows in a comet cocktail and think about all the profit I didn't earn today. Go. Stay out of trouble. Okay, how did you do that? Don't let the staff of office and these good looks fool you. <laughs> I'm here as a Starfleet officer, and I don't normally flaunt my family connections. But in this case, it seemed like the best way to solve the problem. So I borrowed my dad's second best staff. Thanks for the assist. Didn't look like Oglo was going to let the, the, us purchase this Krenum artifact while he was still in the room. Interesting. I know oh. Voyager encountered the Krenum during the Hold journey. Hold on, I think I, I inadvertently clicked twice by don't accident. Let the staff Interesting. I know Voyager okay, encountered the Krenum during the journey, and Tuvok was looking for survivors of the Vaudoir purges, for now, though, perhaps we should concentrate on learning what we can from this device. Agreed. Now, what should we do about the force field? Quinn left without taking down his security, but fortunately, I know how to get around it. 
This isn't a very sophisticated system. It's hardly worth the let that we paid for it. <laughs> if we overload the EPS conduits, we'll create a cascade failure in the system that the control protocols won't be able to handle. That should drop the force field. Just overload the EPS conduits? That really isn't very secure at all. I think you can overload the EPS conduits in the corner there. Now that the power flow is disrupted, we can override the administrative access requirement. Right, I'll do that next. The controls are... Yes! Over here by the artifact. Excellent. Now we can get a good look at this. There. The waveforms aren't like anything I've seen before. I think I'm getting something. This is definitely Krenum in origin. And Quinn was right on the age. I'm also seeing some repeating elements in the base code, uh, almost like a signature. And that strange energy Quinn was talking about is actually chronotons. A lot of chronotons. And chronotons mean temporal manipulation. This little box just got a lot more interesting. Uh, the last thing we need is a visit from Temporal Investigations. I'll take the device back to my ship, the Chimera, and have a look while we're on the way to the Kiana system. From what I understand, Voyager sent an away team to the Kiana system a few weeks ago, but they encountered some resistance and were forced to pull back before they can find what they were looking for. But now that we have this, maybe we'll be able to find what remains of the Krenum, if there's anything left to find. Understood. I'll see you in the Delta Quadrant. I've explored many places as a Starfleet officer, but this is my first time seeing the Delta Quadrant. According to Quinn, the Krenum artifact came from this system. I hope we haven't come all this way just to chase ghosts. I've had a chance to look at the Krenum devices, although I'm not sure how to activate it yet. It's definitely designed for temporal manipulation, although I don't think it enables someone to travel through time. It's almost like a step sideways, if that makes any sense at all. I'll keep working on it, and let you know if I learn anything more. Okay, perhaps we can find something here that can explain it. Voyager's preliminary scans of the system turned up a number of anomalies, but nothing conclusive. According to Krenum records, though, there's supposed to be an M-class planet in this system. We're not reading anything like that on the sensors. Maybe the planet is the source of these asteroids. We're also picking up some wreckage. Could be. Let's check that wreckage out first. It might give us a better idea of what happened out here. And we should be on the lookout for Vaudoir. Preliminary scans indicate they've been actively patrolling through this system. Agreed. So let's set course for the wreckage around that asteroid. Keep an eye out for Vaudoir. They're still patrolling this area. If I had to place a bet, I'd say that wreckage is where this artifact was found. Heads up! Vaudoir on an intercept course! course, but we may be able to avoid them. I suggest we use the mineral content of the asteroids I've marked to conceal our energy signatures. Vodwar sensors aren't as good as ours, 
Most of their technological advantage appears to be directed toward making better weapons. So it should work, as long as we don't attract their attention before we get out of their path. Good idea. Let's try using the asteroids as cover. Vardwar patrol. I don't think those heralds detected us. Let's hope they don't come back this way. Scan the moon. Heralds inbound. The Vardwar must have gotten a signal out. team to the surface. I'll bring the device and keep trying to learn more about it. Great, my team will meet you there. Game. Uh, I have to wait for it to load. Oh, actually, looking at the temporal flux um, generator, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to take the Chronotot split beam. This doesn't make sense. There's nothing here that would cause the readings I was seeing from orbit, but there are traces of chronotron particles. I've never known chronotrons to appear naturally without some sort of temporal manipulation going on, but there's nothing here. I'm starting to come up with a theory, but I need some more data. I recommend we take some additional scans. Agree, there's something here, we just need to find it. Exactly, but we need to be quick. Those patrols we encountered in orbit will be missed soon. I'm going to order the Chimera to try to avoid contact, but warn us if more ships arrive. Agreed, pick areas for scans and let's get going. These tall spires are charged with temporal energy. Curious. It's almost like it's in a state of temporal flux. I need to get some scans. There's something going on. There are more mineral deposits over there. Nope. There's a resonant frequency here that's not natural. Yes. I'm reading another anomaly ahead. What is it, Yoza? You'll see, Yoza, you'll see. If you are 
These anomalies have a shape, like a warp field, but not quite the same. The only other place I've seen sensor readings like this was in the wormhole. Captain, heralds have landed and are approaching your position. Fall back, Oblos 2. We'll deal with the heralds after uh, that are already here. There! Behind those rocks! Hurry! They'll be here any moment! I have an idea. This area looks defensible. Get ready. I have an idea. We need to use the device. I've been trying to activate it, and I've almost got it. Keep them busy. If I can get it working, I should be able to conceal us. Do what you must. We'll protect you. I'm trying to set up on top of the rocks, but I can't. Here they come! I think I must get rid of that that I other flamer. Actually, that Peter. Almost there. Just one more connection, and that should. Dog. We need to get clear of this area. Oh, ambush. As soon as I accidentally got rid of that plasma repeater. Oh well. I can always. I have no idea, honestly. Okay, we can use these rocks for cover while we plan our next move.
Oop, what the? Captain Nog? If you'll forgive the pun, I managed to buy us some time. Ow. Well, this is a surprise. It's taken me some time to convince the Krenim to help us, but they finally agreed. Remember how I said the device could remove someone from the time stream? It did. That's where we are now, in the temporal bubbles. And how we perceive time in here is a little different than outside. That's why the Heralds can't see us. We're out of their timelines. Out of all timelines, in fact. While we're here, it's almost like we don't exist. And not existing is an improvement, right? No one's shooting at us. I think that's a good thing. The Krenomar, they're a little touchy. Uh, almost being driven to extinction by the Vaudoir has made them suspicious. But they're willing to talk to us if we help them stabilize the temporal energy. I suggest we help. I wouldn't want to be in here if the fields collapse. Okay, let's talk to the Krenum. Okay, I am decided to take a look. Uh, I got rid of that a while ago. As in not using it. Okay. Yeah, there are speed runs for... For it. But it's like for... Let's see. Yeah, but it's just... Nah. Anyway, let's talk to the Kratom leader. I've had some time to observe you and Captain Nog, and your actions make it clear that you are no friend of the Vaudoir or the Heralds. This does not, however, assure me that you will be allies to my people. The Krenim have lost much. Our empire is gone, and our people have been killed or scattered. We are what remains, and I will do whatever I must to protect this system. Even if it means leaving you to face the Heralds alone. Okay, what can we do to prove ourselves? You have already repaired some of our emitters that were damaged by the attack. But there is more yet to do. Should our temporal equipment fail, this location will be instantly overrun by Heralds. If that happens, none of us will survive. Okay, we didn't attend you any harm. What can we do? More of our emitters must be realigned, and there are other pieces of equipment my people are already working to repair. Assist my team, and then we will talk again. Understood. Ugh. Sorry about that, Dion, folks. fight overloaded some of the power couplings we use to moderate the temporal flow. If we had a contained space like the technology was originally designed for, this wouldn't be a problem. But we keep pushing the boundaries of what these flow modulators will do. I'm rerouting the power to take stress off the damaged couplings. But first, we need to get this capacitor aligned and ready for the transfer. Who invented this technology? The temporal technology was developed by a scientist named Anorax. He's still a mystery, even to us. We know he was a ship commander in the Imperium fleet and a genius in temporal mechanics, and that he started work on his inventions in the late 22nd century after our war with the Rilnar. Perhaps he saw temporal manipulation as a way to change our fortunes. We know he was working towards weaponizing his designs, and I can tell from what little I've seen that it is possible. But full access to his data is restricted, so I don't know the full capabilities of his work. He sounds like a brilliant, troubled man. Well, um, but now, how do you need- now, what do you need help with? Your fight overloaded okay, some I'll of the- Okay, I'll do what I can assist. Here, okay, let's align the capacitor. Okay, now it's starting to look like something. Fix that one.
The temporal compensators are out of alignment. They help keep us at a stable point in the timeline. If they fail completely, we could end up lost in time. Grab a hyperspanner. We need to get this fixed before the drift coefficient moves out of the safe zone. I'll do what I can to help. Temporal compensates our alignment. Okay, begin repairs. Okay, I'm thinking disconnect. Oh, reset. Again. Realign. Disconnect, reconnect. Good. I'll put the next location on your tricorder. That was a case of have to disconnect in order to fix things and then reconnect. By the way, I don't like the color. This used to be blue, but now it's this. Hold this. No, hold it right next to the bracket. Or the spanner won't... There. Got it. Thanks. Something is putting too much stress on these components. I'm not sure what it is, but we don't have enough spare parts to keep rebuilding this transceiver. Grab a tricorder and run a level 3 diagnostic. Maybe there are some micro-fractures. If we can find and repair those, this should hold out until I can fabricate a new unit. Sure, I'll help you. Okay, so I'm just putting too much stress. There might be micro-fractures. Those are repaired. It'll hold out to a new one that's fabricated. Okay. Scan. Formulate an epoxy. Repair. There. That should do it. No, this used to be blue, but now it's... this. You've shown you're willing to help. Now perhaps we can come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. How? We have Anorax's plans, but not the... Interesting. The Heralds are opening a gateway. What? The repairs should be enough. Greetings, Mercy, Great One. It appears they used a cloaking device and escaped. You are forgiven. Make the to depart. As you command. An interesting development. These sentients have proven to be resourceful. Already they have thwarted our plan to bring in the Solanay fleet. Oh, 
dogs. <coughs> Over there, for some reason. They couldn't see us? There were Iconians right in front of us and nothing! They had no idea we were here. We were completely safe. You're right, this could be what we need. The only protection left to my people is our ability to manipulate time. But it is something we must do with great care. Even the most innocuous of changes can ripple through reality in unexpected ways. You're talking about advanced temporal theory. My people and I have made Anorax's theories of temporal manipulation our lives work. In at least one temporal variant, his ship made the Krenum Imperium the undisputed masters of this region of space. If only we could recreate that vessel. What vessel? Anorax designed a ship, a wondrous vessel, that could manipulate the time streams and erase elements in an attempt to bring about a desired result. Our records show that he even attempted to use this vessel to restore the Krenum's fortunes but he was defeated by an unknown alliance. Afterward, the Krenum Imperium declined, as perhaps was its fate all along. We were diminished, <laughs> but yeah, we must let time I agree, progress Yosa. as it would, until the Vardwar. And the Vardwar destroyed all the Krenum colonies in this area. The first Krenum worlds to fall managed to <coughs> warn the others. When the Vardwar came, we hid ourselves in the time stream. It was the only way we survived. Before the Vodwar arrived, we were working on a relic. It was a replica of Anorax's time ship. With it, we could have gone back and eliminated the Vodwar threat before it even began. Okay, why have you done so already? The Vodwar's assault on the Imperium took too much from us. Now we possess Anorax's work but not the means to bring it to life. You have seen what our technology can do. We have the designs. You have the manpower and the materials. Perhaps your governments would be interested in mutual cooperation. Allow us a chance to undo what the Vodwar did, and we will give you something that will erase your enemies from time itself. Okay, a generous offer, but it, is, but it is one we would need to consider carefully. You want to risk all you have left on a chance for success? There's more here than what you've seen. You've hidden the entire planet? Yes, we removed ourselves from the time stream to stay alive. With your help. We can change everything. You hit an entire planet, but you can't build this time ship on your own? We have the plans. Our resources are almost gone. We have shipyards, workers, and all the materials you could need. Precisely. We revealed ourselves to you as a gesture of good faith. What will you do in return? We need to take this back to the Alliance. The Iconians and the Heralds are gone. It's safe to resync with our time and contact our ship. But this is huge! A whole Krenum colony that survived the Vodwar? One that has temporal technology that even the Iconians can't counter? A weaponized time ship that can erase entire civilizations like they never existed? This could change the entire war! We... we could have a chance now! Agreed, Ablis too. We're ready to beam up. Sir, is that what happened? You've been we've been scanning for you, but you just disappeared. You've been hiding in the debris debris to stay away from the Herald ships, and, and then, sir, you're not going to believe this. There's a planet here now, an entire planet. Did you find something down there, something that could conceal an entire planet? Looking forward to hearing what 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 has happened, Captain. But we're glad you're back. Yeah, we found the Krenum. I'll explain as soon as we're back on board.
Temporal mechanics is not a complication we need, but this weapon they are proposing sounds intriguing. You and Captain Nog were correct in thinking the Alliance would be interested in investigating such a thing. Personally, I approve of anything the Iconians might fear. Kapla! I'm taking the split beam rifle. This basically would make me immune to damage, but I cannot do anything else. Just walk. The war continues, and all of our warriors are needed to fight. Okay. Okay, active ground. I want to <laughs> get one thing. I can't have more than one. Let's go with... Swap you around. And get the traitor here. Please report to the Kiana system. Our partnership with the Krenum is starting to bear fruit. But the project may take more time to complete than we have left. We must consider any plan that ensures our survival. Okay. Okay, ma warp bubble training manuals. Reactive armor catalysts. We're getting the Delta Alliance reinforcements beacon. The war can because it's better than, in my opinion, better than the Nimbus pirate distress call. Wait, I'm already here. Duh. Broken circle. Okay, give me one second, chat. I need to do something real quick. Okay. We're going to be doing... I'm going to be having to play ads now because... Actually, after, actually once we, after we load in and all this fun stuff... Because we're getting... We're 20 minutes away Port from... From ending... From ending the stream and stick around, we're going to be doing a raid. So, sorry about this, everyone. Okay, Captain Cogran has sent his aide, Lieutenant Tulek, to give you a brief tour of the Krenum research facility. So far, the Alliance ventures with the Krenum have been very productive. Together, our teams are making progress towards completing Anorax's design for a ship capable of temporal incursions. The lieutenant wants to greet you. Okay, acknowledged. Greetings. On behalf of Captain Cogren and Alliance Command, I am pleased to welcome you to our research station. The captain is completing his preparations. In the meantime, I will give you a tour of the facility where we are building a weapon that will end the Iconian threat once and for all. Follow me. Our researchers can explain how the weapon works and answer any questions you may have. Eat the way, Lieutenant. And here, we have the development area. How much do you know about the Krenum, Seven of Nine? The Borg have extensive records on the Krenum. They were a species of great interest to the Collective. I'm not sure I like the idea of the Borg studying us like a bug in a petri dish. I'm not sure I like the idea of the Borg studying anyone. <laughs> and what about the Iconians? The Collective spent a great deal of resources pursuing Iconian technology. They believed the species to be extinct. They were incorrect. So much for the Borg knowing everything. The Iconian's technology is far beyond even the capabilities of the Borg. Fine. But what about shielding the ship that's using the weapon? 
We haven't solved the paradox problem yet. This is not my first experience with alternate timelines. It would be possible to develop a form of temporal shielding to protect this vessel from alterations in the timeline. Welcome to our facility. I'm working with one of the teams here to develop the time ship and choose a target. What we do is different from time travel. Anorex's designs are actually for a weapon that can remove elements from the time stream completely, and then time reshapes itself to account for that absence. Time reshapes itself? Does that ma mean reality itself will change? In some ways, yes. Once the weapon is fired, it can create an entirely new reality and anyone or anything that isn't temporarily shielded will be a part of that reality. That's why we have to proceed slowly. If we're not careful, we could change everything we know and not even know what's happened. That could be as dangerous to us as it is to the Iconians. But think of the possibilities. We could reverse the effects of wars, stop threats like the Iconians, even turn back time and eliminate the Borg. This is a weapon. But it's one that can make a better galaxy. Perhaps. But many terrible things have come about from the best of intentions. Captain Cogren's briefing is about to begin. Follow me to the conference room. Okay, lead the way, Lieutenant. Yeah, this would this does create create some issues, I believe. Cogren. Greetings. I have heard much about your victories against the Iconians. It is an honor to work with a warrior like yourself. We are almost ready to begin. First, however, Agent Cray would like a word. Aye, sir. Where is he? Oh, over there. Greetings. My name is Philip Cray. I'm the liaison from Temporal Investigations for this project. I know, we've talked about... We've talked before. Anyway, why does this project need a liaison? The Federation has some serious concerns about possible violations of the Temporal Prime Directive. Normally, Starfleet personnel are strictly prohibited from directly interfering with historical events and should make every effort to maintain the timeline. And yet this web is being created for exactly that purpose. Indeed. That should tell you how serious this war has become. If the Iconians win, there probably won't be anyone left to preserve the timeline. In this instance, my role is to ensure that we succeed in our task with the minimal possible disruption to the timeline, as well as to address any repercussions of those disruptions. So the directive's only a directive when it's convenient. <laughs> I don't disagree. As a Starfleet officer, I am sworn to uphold the Temporal Prime Directive, not only that, but I have seen firsthand the dangers that come from ignoring it. But as the Vulcans say, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The Iconians cannot use time travel, and that makes it a weapon we can use against them. We must consider carefully whether it is too dangerous of a weapon to use at all. I understand, Agent. I'll do my best to help you. Let's begin the briefing. The war is not going as well as we might wish. Our fleet are protecting key worlds, but dozens of other targets have fallen to herald attacks. Civilian casualties are rising. We need to act. This facility is building a device to turn the tide in our favor. Captain Nog, what is the status of the weapon? We've had some setbacks, Captain. We're still weeks from a working prototype. No amount of temporal manipulation will change that. And have you chosen a target for the temporal incursion? We are still running simulations. We've configured the holodecks to help us evaluate the possible changes that occur after removing an element from the time stream. Some of these scenarios show promise, but none are exactly what you want. Very well. We cannot afford to wait another day. We are losing this war. We need to strike now. A direct engagement is our only option. 
We will put all our resources into a full attack on the Iconians. Every ship we You're can muster about will be a paradox part of one there, massive Yoza. strike against the Herald Sphere. Captain Paris is already moving into position with the Vanguard. Ships here will report to the Herald Sphere as soon as possible. There will be, will be more warriors in Stovokor tonight. But first, we will make the Iconians bleed. Okay, let's beam up. By the way, I don't think you'll be able to see the ship in ax action right now. I'll show you the ship in uh, in a second. Okay, where are you? Okay, I got the ship up on my thing here. One second, everyone. And here it is. If it will sh there we go. Wrong. Uh. There we go. <laughs> yep, this is the Anorax. Anyway, let's continue on here. But you'll see the effects in the next mission, if I remember correctly. It's the... Um, not butterfly. Actually, yeah, and the butterfly one. Right now we're in Broken Circle. And, one second, the Iconian War. And that's the next one. And I think we only have enough time to complete this mission. So... Okay, orders come in for Captain Cogger now, sir. The battle's commenced, and Captain Paris is preparing to engage the enemy. The Alpha 2 is to rendezvous with the task force, waiting in the Kiana system, and then report with them to the Herald Sphere to reinforce the ship already there. Acknowledged. You are the last ship to arrive. We are ready to set course for the Sphere. Alright, let's go. Alpha Wing. You are cleared for departure. Ooh! Sir, the fleet is in complete disarray. We're picking up multiple distress signals as well as, as well as an incoming transmission from Captain Paris. You want me to put him on the main view screen? Do it! Am I glad to see you? This... it's just not working. The Iconians are gating in their ships, and they have far more reserves than we anticipated. I've called for a hold on the flagship assault until we regroup. There's no point in a suicide run. First, we need to help our ships in trouble. Can I count on you to help? We'll do all we can for those ships, Captain.
go. shot at this. Huh? Okay, we did this already. Reinforcements. Follow that dreadnought. We are clear to enter the gateway. Hello, Lions Gaming. How are you doing tonight? Well, that's pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Traveled to inside the sphere. From what we know, the heralds used this, this sphere to control and protect the Iconian Gateway Network. We had a strike. We had strike forces assaulting the sphere like this was since the beginning of the war. But we never managed to do more than knock the gateways offline temporarily. First priority is finding our strike teams. Okay, the enemy flagship Uzi is straight ahead. Priority hail from Cap Cap Paris. Put on screen. The flagship's shields are down and it's losing power. Looks like they're trying to interface with the sphere to give themselves a boost. This might be our one chance to board it and take control. I have three troop transports standing by. Understood. We'll clear the path. Yeah, I've done this too on other alts, but it's the first time I'm streaming Star Trek Online uh, on my channel. I've been streaming Star Trek Online on my channel with this new alt. That's why... That's why I decided to just to do the missions. Signaling the carriers to move into position now. Herald reinforcements inbound. We need to deal with them. Where are they? I've done these missions before, but it's n but it's nice to do them again, uh, especially, especially since it's been years since since I did them. There we go. 
this mission I'm gonna be be doing a raid Okay, chat, I need to refresh the page for chat here for the the boy the seeing chat, so one second. Okay. While that refreshes, might as well continue. Sorry, interference with the series blocking some con signals, attempt to compensate now. Do what you can. Great! We got through. What's your status? We can't reach any of the other away teams. We're safely aboard. The away teams are gauging the heralds. Acknowledged. Sensors are picking up power fluctuations near your coordinates. The impact with the Quartar must have disrupted their systems. Start disabling anything you can reach. If we do enough damage, maybe that will help us take their ship. All right, that sounds like the old, an old-fashioned pirate ring, Captain. <laughs> What? Until can swap you. Away teams are attacking power junctions, but they are encountering heavy resistance. It would be an honor to join your team, sir. Follow me then. Away teams reporting in, sir. Heavy resistance and heavy casualties.
detecting life signs and weapon discharges dead ahead. <laughs> I forgot which one's this. Anti proton, okay. I am detecting Federation and Herald weapons fire beyond this door. There is also a power junction. Okay, we got Matara on the scene here. Do you care so much for your lives? No, just Maybe yours. Retreating. She might be trying to recharge her energy. Whoa, what are you doing over there? The fluctuations are increasing exponentially. We disable some power junctions, but Matara has skipped using Gateway. We must be doing some damage to get her attention. Interesting, but it makes sense. The Iconians are energy beings. If Matara can't use the ship's systems, she'll use herself as a battery for the gateways. But that's probably dangerous for her. She's bleeding herself dry with every gateway. Keep at it. If you can drain enough of her energy, she might make herself vulnerable. Harold! You need to disable the other junction, sir. There is another power junction ahead. Another set. Just over there. I am detecting a third junction ahead. Now it's actually a what was it? A chronoton split beam rifle. Another junction just ahead, sir. It just so happens chronotons make a whole bunch of rainbow. If we can effect. keep forcing the creature to use her own power, we can weaken her enough to defeat her. I am detecting strong energy signatures ahead. I believe it to be some kind of command center. 
Knock at the harbinger back further and further. We must disable the other interface before we continue. contains four interface junctions.
here we go. That might be the first bit of good news I've heard all day. Okay, we need to fall back. While there's still a chance, the Heralds will be coming back in force. Acknowledged. Ugh. These warriors died well, and they will not be forgotten. Okay, gateways are opening at the edge of the system. Alliance commands ordering royal fable ships to fall back and not engage the herald. It's time to go. Yeah, agreed. Same to lane of course out of the system. Okay, so I'm detecting life pods on sensors. There's a detecting escape pods on sensors. There's a star dancer. Okay, scan escape pods. Covered all we can, sir, but there, are f there are a few, s few survivors. All these ships, all these people. Uh, steady. This is not the time to mourn. First lead in for the counter system. We can depart on your order. Engage. Turning through the cannon system, sir. Several senior officers waiting for you in the conference room. Acknowledged. I don't think we have a choice now. We have to complete the Krenum device. Captain Cogren wants it online immediately, but this isn't something we can rush. Cutting corners with temporal mechanics? That's how you end up with unsolvable time paradoxes. Look, I'll do whatever I can, but I'm scared of this technology. Building it will be the greatest challenge of my career, but actually altering time? I'm not sure anyone should have that much power. I understand your concern, but it's our best option. I want to personally commend you. 
Whatever success we had in this mission was thanks to you. The Iconians have lost their leader. Their unity is broken. That... That might give us an opening to end this war. The cost, though, all those people, I can't help but feel that I failed them. Yeah, you can't blame, blame yourself, Captain. They knew the risks and they were willing to take them. Despite the extraordinary efforts of you and many others, our operation was a failure. We're still totaling up the casualties, but the cost was too great. The Heralds still stand. They have lost one Iconian, but if anything, that will only prolong the conflict. Defeating Matara was a combination of the sacrifice of Guroth and many others, your quick thinking and martial prowess, and the Iconian's arrogance. Matara did not believe an Iconian could die. The others will not make the same mistake. We had to take the risk, Captain. We couldn't wait for the Krenum weapon. Indeed, but that is a small comfort to the warriors who have entered Stovacor this day. Those of us who remain will mourn, and then we survive another day. And we will defeat the Iconians. Alright. Let's hear the end of this, and then we will end the stream. We're going to be doing a raid, just so you know, everyone. Our losses were great today, and we will mourn for every hero who died defending their galaxy. I am a warrior. I believe in honorable combat, direct tactics, and looking my enemy in the eye. Although you did manage to destroy Matara and break the unity of the Iconians, I now see that we cannot use traditional combat to defeat them. Captain Nog and his team will continue their work on the weapon. It may be our only option. All right. Get this. I'll the run war through that. Continues, and all of our warriors are needed to fight. The research okay. teams in the Kiana system require okay. your assistance. Bop, bop, bop. Basically, the thing is ready. We we'll just have to do some of how testing. To use the Krenim weapon. The war continues. Anyway. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. If you like what you watch, please hit that heart icon down below. If you want to support me, please subscribe. This is my usual schedule. Mega Online on Fridays, Battletech Advanced 362 on Mondays, any game of my choosing on Tuesdays. Right now, Battletech Advanced 362 is right now on hiatus until the until the update gets popped until the state breaking update gets popped out. Any, but anyway, any game was, uh, though, all those streams start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I also have a Twitter account. When I post, whenever I go live there, or anything that pops in, interesting into my little mind here. <laughs> and I also have a Discord server. You can hang out with me and the, all the other wolves in there. And you can also see whenever I go live there as well. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. We're going to be raiding Mini Celeste. They're right now, what are they streaming? City Skylines 2. So, let's, let's do a little bit of a raid. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. Please, stay safe out there. Goodbye, everyone. See you all on the 23rd. Bye.